Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And as you can tell, I finally got a new graphics card. I got the GeForce GTX 1650. It was for about 400, which I know is a lot, but GPUs are expensive right now. And I finally got one for my iBuy Power Element Mini 9300, which is over there. It's a little dirty, but I'm gonna clean it as soon as I do this. So that's a good excuse. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna show you how to do software. Like change the software from AMD to GeForce, or NVIDIA, my bad. And I'm gonna show you gameplay and my new FPS, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so now I'm on my PC, as you can tell by my mic, and I'm gonna show you how to switch from AMD software to NVIDIA software. So the first thing you wanna do is type in NVIDIA drivers, which I've already typed in. And don't click on this first link, click on official GeForce drivers NVIDIA. And then you, you do not, I mean, you can do automatic, but I'm going to do this. I, I feel like it'll be better. So you do this depending on what uh, GPU you have. So for this one, I obviously have the 1650. So the product type is GeForce and the product series is series six or 16 series. My bad. Cause it's a 1650. And then I have a GeForce 1650, just a 1650. And these are all good. And then you start your search. Sorry about that. And then it'll find your drivers for you. Alright, so as soon as you click start search, the driver results are going to show up down here. I just had to make sure. That's why there's a cut in the video. I just had to make sure. But this is the most recent one. It was actually updated today, as you can see. So you want to press get download. And then you want to download it now. As you can see, this is the latest one. And download it now, and it will be downloading, and I will check in in a little bit. All right, so you are still not ready to install your new GPU. You want to go to your search tab again, and you want to type in DDU. I typed in SSU because, you know, I'm crazy like that. But <laughs> you want to go down to guru3d.com. There's... And you want to go here it should look like this and you want to install it i just need to find the link we want to install the download mirror us east coast if you're on the east coast or if you're on the west coast i don't think it might it might not matter but i obviously am from na east so i'm gonna download this one so you download the one that you're from if you're from eu Download one of these, but I'm just going to download this one, and yeah. Alright, so once you downloaded it, you want to go to your folders. Let me bring it to my other monitor. You want to go to your downloads, and it should be right here. And you want to extract these. Extract all, because it is a zip. And press extract, extract, and you should see this. And you want to click on DDUV. It might be different for you, but this one... And then you wait for it and then you want to extract it again and there should be a new folder and this is the folder you want you can delete these ones if you want to so i'm going to delete them just in case and here are all the things you can read all these if you want but you know i'm just going to trust this video i'm watching shout out to this video if you want to watch the real video i'll link it but it's nice to stick around and watch mine uh, and you want to click this one. Alright, so as soon as you open DDU, if it's your first time opening it, it just has these five things that you should know. You can read them if you, if you want. And just press OK. And here are the general options. I'm just going to leave these all the same. Because this is all I need. And we are not in safe mode, so I'm just going to do it in Windows 10. The guy says it still works for most people. And if it doesn't, you can change the safe mode. You can look up how to change the safe mode. So I'm just going to press OK. And you want to select your device type. Obviously, we're changing our GPU. And it automatically detects which GPU you have, like what brand. So we're going to remove the AMD GPU. And for installing a new graphics card, it says it right here. You want to clean and shut down. So that's what we're going to press right now. All right, so now as you can see, I took off the the glass panel of my PC and I'm gonna uninstall my graphics card, clean my PC too a little bit. 
There's a little dusty in there, just a little. But now we go to the back, to here. And let me try and get this to focus. You see this right here? Mine just slides over. And now I need to get a screwdriver to unscrew these two screws right here. These two screws and the GPU will come out. All right, so I flipped my PC on my si on its side and now I'm going to pull out the graphics card. There's a clip right here. You see this clip right there? You want to unclip that and then you can pull your GPU out. Just have to give it some tug. Not too hard, obviously. There we go. And this is the RX 550. It's a little dirty. I never saw the underside of my graphics card, so that's kind of cool. Because this is a pre-built, if you didn't know. You're probably from my other video, though. But now, I'm going to install my new 1650. Alright, so now I have the new GPU, the GTX 1650. And now I'm going to remove this guard and install the new GPU. And you need the screws from last time that you unscrewed from over there. So yeah, now I will show you. Alright, so now I have the graphics card screwed in. Looks pretty clean. There is some RGB right there in the middle, if you can see. But uh, now I am going to plug in my PC and put on the glass panel, of course, and show you gameplay and how to get NVIDIA software. Alright, so now is the moment of truth. As you can see, I must have done something right because the RGB is on. I plugged everything back in, by the way. And I have the white on it now. Maybe I'll put on the purple. Wait, let me go back to the purple. There it is. Kind of matches. It's like blue and purple, kind of. I might keep it on purple, honestly. That looks pretty clean. I don't know if you can change the RGB. But I will check back with you in a minute. Alright, so now that we are back on our PC with our new GPU plugged in, you want to go to your downloads, and then you want to go to downloads, and you know how we installed this? We want to open it. Let's give it a second. NVIDIA Package Launcher, this. And you want to select OK. And wait. And this should take, like, less than a minute, so I will see you then. All right, so it completed, and now it is installing the graphics drivers. So you want to click Agree and Continue, and then Express, and then click Next, and then it is installing. All right, so when you're done downloading it, it should open GeForce Experience, and that's pretty cool. It shows all your games that it supports. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm just gonna exit out of that. And the shortcut for this software is Alt-Z. If you want to customize this, I will show you in a later video how to customize this. I just wanna show you that we now have the software and even if we right click right here, it'll open the NVIDIA control panel right here and press agree and continue because this is the first time. And here is the control panel and these are all the optimization settings and all that so that's pretty cool and yeah now i will show you gameplay and actual fortnite all right so i'm recording off the nvidia software right now these are my settings that i'm going to show you in creative i'm playing on high meshes and performance mode on 300 or not 300 100 percent 3d res so now I'm just going to show you, and hopefully this recording looks good, because I'm pretty sure it will. But hopefully it does, like I think. And I will also show you in late game, and also possibly in pubs. Alright, so now I'm in creative, and as you can see, as I look up, I'm getting about 400 some FPS. And as I'm walking straight, I'm getting about 2 something. So I'm just going to go into my regular 1v1 map and show you guys the FPS. And hopefully the recording looks good like I said. That's also a main reason why I got the GPU too. Or just an, an NVIDIA one. Why I switched to NVIDIA. 
I don't know why I built these, because now I gotta shoot them down. But I highly recommend getting a, a new GPU if you haven't already for my PC. I know I waited a long time, but I bought it with all, like, all of it was my money from YouTube, so thanks to you guys. So, as you can see, I'm getting like 300 FPS right now. I'm gonna cap it at 240 because I'm not gonna get 360, obviously. It's not that crazy. It stays at 240, pretty good. Not the best, obviously, but, you know. Sorry, I'm not warmed up that much, but. Hope you guys forgive me. I'm gonna cap it at 200. And in games, I'll probably play on 180 or 165. It stays pretty good at 200, honestly. It feels so much smoother, by the way. Now I'm going to show you 180, which is I what I recommend if you're like a creative warrior. Because it stays there. Like the best. Or the lowest. Or the highest and the best. Alright, so now I'm going to show you in late game and regular pubs what FPS I get. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so now I'm going to load into a late game arena game and show you guys my FPS. I'm probably going to cap it at 165. Which is what I'll usually play on when I stream and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so on Spawn Island, I'm getting about 165. <laughs> I don't know if Spawn Island matters, but... This is gonna feel so much better. I am still on high meshes, by the way. And on 300%, or 100, I don't know why I keep saying that. 100% 3D res. I'm getting about 140 inside the, um, you know, in the sky. Okay, I guess we're landing there. I'm playing with Jason 7 by the way, so. Shout out to you if you know him. Oh my god, bro, this new GPU. I swear. Let me get out. Yo, he's still in dry skin. As you can see, my FPS is around 150, I would say, which is actually really good compared to my other FPS. I used to get like 100 FPS in late game. I don't know what my mouse is just doing. No. Alright, well now I am going to show you in uh, regular pubs, so yeah. So now we're in a pub match with Dryson, of course. It's gonna land at Corny Crops with the mech. I don't know why we're landing there, but maybe we'll die off spawn. Maybe not. But in the sky, I'm getting like 100. Doesn't really matter what I get in the sky. I capped it at 165 by the way, which is what I'm going to play on, which is probably what you guys should play on. Maybe 180. But, yeah. <laughs> you like them, Meg.
Let's see what I get when I land. I'm getting stable 165. Pretty much stable. That's actually crazy. I, I'm not used to seeing that at all. It drops a little bit, but that might be because of the mech, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That was actually good to... Pooped on, bro. Let's go. I do not want this lever, by the way. Oh! I guess this is what we get for messing with the mech. Will Dryson clutch up, though? Dang, bro. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are influenced to buy this GPU or a GPU sim similar to this. I hope this helped you. And can this video get to 100 likes? Shout out to you if you stay till the end. And as always, have a great day.